If you're not paying into Flint House, why aren't you? It's not just a security policy for yourself, if you need it due to any kind of injury on or off duty, but it's also there to support colleagues. All colleagues should definitely join Flint House. You don't know what's going to happen. It has enabled me to get back to work quicker. It's enabled me to be a mum to my children. The small donation that you make is nothing compared to what you get from that. Flint House is a world-class rehabilitation facility that offers support for physical injuries and mental health support for police officers and retired police officers. Programmes that we run, we have the physiotherapy programme and the mental health programme. Outside of Flint House you can be very busy. When you come here you can concentrate on getting better. You've got people here looking after you and you can really put the time and effort into yourself, whether that be for looking after a physical injury or for your mental health. Flint House is for everyone. It's from your new recruits to someone that's a lot further down their career and we also take retired officers as well. If something's bothering you, even if you're on full duties at work and you're just getting by, it's important that you get it looked at. It's important that that's the time that you invest in yourself to prevent things getting worse. It can be a sporting injury at the weekend. It could be lifting up your young child and you know, gives you some back pain. It, it doesn't have to be something that's caused by work. And I'd say the majority of things um, that we see people for aren't always work-related injuries. I was just starting a, a night shift and we were joining the A1 um, M southbound to help with another collision. Our vehicle left the road and collided with a tree at 63 miles an hour. That left me with five fractures to my right leg, 12 broken ribs, a cracked sternum and a shattered L5 vertebrae. It's a gold mine for us. Like I said, the specialists there, the service that we get, it really, you're not gonna get that service anywhere else. We're not just here to treat and get police officers better. It's a two-way system. They, they come and, and, and are educated and supported, but they're also giving us information about what it's like for them out there as police officers. And we're learning from that so we can mould our classes and our treatment to help them from what they're telling us they need. Flint House have been absolutely fantastic. Within five days of being here, they got me off of crutches and onto a walking stick and they helped me manage my pain. So when I first landed at Flint House, I could hardly bend my knee, felt really vulnerable, really frightened about moving it. And by the time I left, I was ready to go back to work. The amount we pay is very little and what we get is a lot for our money. It's a safe environment, professional physiotherapists and trainers, you know, lovely accommodation, really good food, and it's somewhere we can go and focus on getting ourselves back fit. They know their stuff. They are really experienced physios and experienced in their field, so you know that you're getting the very best care. And they are just amazing, absolutely amazing, and so, so helpful, nothing's too much trouble. On average, we have 3,500 police officers attend Flint House every year. At any one time, we can have up to 150 patients on site. We are in demand, and I think with the social acceptance of mental health and well-being as a, as a phrase now, as a term, that's allowing more police officers to come forward and say, yeah, I'm struggling a bit, um, I need a bit of help. So that has allowed them to come forward. Young people think they're invincible. No matter how old you are, things will go wrong, whether that be a traumatic incident, stepping off a curb and twisting your ankle. You'll need Flint House at any age, especially in the physically and stressfully demanding job as, as the police force. At some point, everybody will need Flint House. At some point, everybody you know, might have an injury. You don't have to be injured on duty. If it wasn't for Flint House, I don't know where I would be right now. I think I would probably be permanently disabled. Flint House is fantastic because it has the clinical expertise, it has the environment, and it has the facilities to support police officers and staff who are struggling and need help and support. I wouldn't stop paying for it, I'd be willing to pay more for it. You don't know if you're going to get injured at work and actually if there's somewhere that you can go to go and get that treated, why wouldn't you pay into it? People should be contributing to the charity because you're not only looking after yourself, you're looking after your colleagues, you're looking after your fellow police officer that might be on shift with you. You're investing in the police family and that's really important. If we didn't have Flint House, we would struggle to maintain officers' fitness really following injury. I think we've got somewhere that we can go, which is just for police. So we're surrounded by like-minded people who think the same as us, who are as driven as us. And it also means that 
we can go there and be fixed and look after ourselves. So I've said before, if we can't look after ourselves, how can we look after other people? The police officer's role is to protect us. Our role is to look after them. We're here to support you whether it was an injury on or off duty. It's a fantastic opportunity to invest in yourself.